Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a CO2 monitor with Adafruit's Matrix Portal. This uses the SCD30 CO2 sensor from Sensurion. The CO2 levels are displayed in parts per million along with an emoji so it's easy to know if the air is good or bad. It's a nice way to display the quality of the air with an LED matrix. The CO2 sensor breakout from Adafruit features Stemma QT so there's no soldering required. We designed a 3D printed bracket for the display and sensor so the parts are nicely secured. The code for this project was written in Adafruit's CircuitPython by Carter Nielsen. To install CircuitPython, head over to circuitpython.org and search for the matrix portal. On the boards page, look for the latest release and click to download the UF2 file. Connect the board over USB and double press the reset button to get into the bootloader mode. Then just drag and drop the UF2 onto the USB drive to automatically flash the firmware. Now you can edit the code using your favorite IDE or a text editor. Be sure to check out the guide for a full step-by-step -step tutorial on building this project. Links are in the description. The Matrix Portal and SCD30 have built-in Stemma QT, so it's really easy to get them up and running. The bracket and enclosure are 3D printed without any support material using PLA filament. The bracket is secured to the enclosure using M25 hardware screws and hex nuts. The Matrix Portal can plug into any display with a standard Hub75 port. The power cable and Stemma QT cable are easily connected. The bracket is secured to the heat set inserts that are built into the frame of the display. The sensor is press fitted into the case with openings on the side for the cables. The cover snap fits over the case and features holes to allow air to reach the sensor. You can use a screw or a nail to hang it on the wall with our 3D printed bracket. A sheet of black LED acrylic softens up the lighting, it looks great even on camera. We hope this inspires you to make your sensor based projects with CircuitPython. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.